today we're going to calibrate a bucket on the Leica 2D system. First we go into 2D from the main menu. We push enter. I want to use the right arrow to come across to setup bucket. We enter into setup bucket. Now I scroll to the right to find calibrate bucket. I enter into calibrate bucket. Our bucket selected is a tilt bucket, which is correct. So I use the right arrow. I don't need to pair. The tool type is a bucket. The bucket is set on the right. That is done in our initial calibration. No dog bone. Tilt one is selected, that's what it needs to be. No tilt rotator, no auto tilt. So now we come to bucket length. This is where we measure from the cutting edge to the bucket pivot point at the bottom of the stick or dipper arm. Measuring the length, cutting edge, up to the center of the pivot point. Two meters, 35. So now we use the down arrow to move the measurement down, so we find 2.035. Compress and hold to count faster, 2.035. We'll use the right arrow to go across. Now we do the bucket angle where we hang a plumb bob or a string line through the bucket pivot point down to the cutting edge and we roll the bucket in and out until we have the correct bucket angle, then we use the 0, 0.0 button. So using your plumb bob string line of some sort. You need to do your best to line it up with the center of that pivot point. Making sure that nothing's touching the string line or even if you have to get somebody else to help you. like so and then guide the operator in or out until the cutting edge is on that line. As you move the plumb bob, move the machine etc, just make sure that up here your plumb bob doesn't twist, I'll exaggerate it, doesn't twist or anything, so re-center it. Re-center it as best you can. As you know being an angle it's very critical. I would say that we're pretty happy there. Once I get the, sing the signal that um, I've touched the bucket tip on the string line, I come in here when it says bucket angle and I push the 0, 0, 0.00 button. Now that angle is set. I can use the right arrow now. Now we want to do a flat angle. This is purely for visual picture, not as not measurements. So. If I was digging underwater and I couldn't see my bucket, I can actually use the picture as a reference. So now I roll the bucket in. Once I'm, once I'm happy, um, the flat angle, usually you get it as though you're parking up for the night or you're digging the bottom of a trench. Once I'm happy with that angle, I use the 0, 0.00 button and now that's calibrated. I use the right arrow. Now we check the bucket width. Uh, two meters and 65. So now I use the, the uh, down arrow. So we have 2.065. Once I've done, I scroll to the right. Now because this is a tilt bucket, um, I need to zero out the tilt zero. So we do this by raising the boom up, rolling the bucket out as though it's hanging vertical and then we put the level on the cutting edge and I tilt the bucket left and right until the level is level. Once I'm happy with the tilt zero, I use the 0, 0.00 button. Now that's zeroed. I can use the right arrow to scroll across to the right. 
there's no auger length and because we're only maintaining this bucket the bucket is already named tilt to change that we can go up and down through letters and eventually numbers to name the bucket uh, once we're finished we use uh, the button below where it says escape 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 and our bucket calibration is complete